Hi, this is Joe Chambers. Thanks for watching Musicians Hall of Fame Backstage. And don't forget to like and subscribe below. It really helps. What best kind of guitar? Why did best you... Best place I could start, I get asked all the time, why a Telecaster? Mm -hmm. So I will tell you why a Telecaster, or tell them why a Telecaster. Because if you use any other brand, it's fine. When you hit a six-string chord, they all get together. It's not like a piano, and you get all this, a lot of distortion and harmonic distortion as well. You get a lot of So the engineers love the cleanness of a Telecaster. So I, when I started out, I was using an Esquire, which is really just a single pickup. Telecaster is all it is. If you take the pick guard off, there's the second hole already milled under the pick guard. The whole, all, what they didn't do is mill the pick guard to leave a hole. Did you did you intentionally get the Esquire, or was it just what was available? No, it was it was something I could afford at the time. So it was a cheaper Telecaster at the time, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. An Esquire was because it had one pickup, I guess. Right. Well, a lot of people prefer that particular pickup. But so when when did you jump to a Tele to a, to a two pickup Tele? Well, I guess when I wore the other one out a little bit, and I just kind of retired it and went to a Telecaster. And uh, two pickup, and I always, for me on sessions, I always played with both pickups. So it was, a combination it of the was two. A, so I put the uh, switch in the middle position. So you killed so you the got buzz. A little, little kill the buzz, yeah. basically, and uh, warmed up the little bright pickup because a Tele with two pickups is a little brighter. An Esquire is not as it's more full rounded, full body. Let's put it that way, and. Uh, but a Telecaster, if you just use the back pickup, it's real bright. And I think that's what a lot of musicians run into today because they want a vintage Telecaster. And that can get pretty expensive. Then they got to spend some more money to get foot switches to make it sound right. <laughs> so how did you use your tone? Well, uh, I just had the tone and the volume wide open on the guitar. You never played front pickup or back pickup? Always, always? Always, blended. just the two, blended. except the one I'm playing now. On the early tellies, they had three saddles. They weren't individual saddles. Did you, did you ever run into problems getting it in intonation? Uh, uh, you just kind of learn to deal with it. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of it uh, about, I don't think any of us played in tune because we didn't have tuners back in those days. You went by ear. So you would usually tune to the piano, which hadn't been tuned in a long time. So usually it had dropped down. And well, what kind of amp did you use? Well, I started out with uh, some of the hits like Green Onions and so forth on a little Fender Harvard amp, mm -hmm. a little tweed. Yeah. And uh, had a tone and a volume control and two inputs. We used that amp in high school. It came with a guitar that my dad bought me. And uh, I bought it used, and the guy brought, you know, sold the amp with it. And uh, we didn't really have any use for it because I wasn't doing sessions those days. We used it for a PA system. Mm -hmm. And uh, short cord, straight microphone, one of those gray bullet mics. Instead yeah. of a green one, it was a gray one. And just straight into the amp and turn it up so the kids could hear the singer and hear the song. They could always hear the band. They couldn't always hear the singer because there wasn't any PAs in those days. People are going to want to know this, too. I, I know, but um, what happened with those with the Esquire and with the Telecaster? <laughs> uh, well, they're, they're gone. All of them are gone. I had two Teles and one Esquire. And I don't have many more. What happened to the? You told me a story about the, the one that had kind of gotten gotten painted purple or. To yeah, drink. that one. Uh, that was the old Esquire, and I had stripped it down, real easy to do, and went down to Western Auto in those days. That's sort of like going to Ace Hardware, and they had a spray paint called Candy Apple Red. And I went, wow, that's what I want to do. What I didn't do was prime the guitar, so it turned out purple instead of red. Which is kind of cool. Sort of grape colored. Yeah. And I said, well, okay, that's what it is. That's. Played it for a long time. It that, was on a lot of Otis and a lot of Booker T stuff. And, and did you not loan that to somebody? Or I did. And uh, but the thing about it, the amp I still had, and it's at the Smithsonian. Oh really? DC. I gave him that. Yeah. And I, I, well, I made a little speech about it. And I said I can't give you the guitar because I don't know where it is. Even if it exists, I have no idea where it might be. But the best thing I can do is give you the next best thing is give you the amp to play through. Yeah. And they have that up there. Yeah.